Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today we're going to go ahead and cover the first vehicle review from 3.1 and that basically just hit the uh, PTU, and we're going to end up talking about the Cyclone. Now obviously there's going to be a lot of content coming uh, over the next couple days as we really get the availability to start doing videos here, but let's go ahead and start here. So it's not our first ground vehicle, and we've had the Ursa and the Grey Cat, not to mention the somewhat questionably performing space bikes like the Dragonfly and the Nox, but this... This is the ground vehicle you really want. It's hands down, basically perfect. <laughs> it's fast, and I mean really fast. Now, we don't really have a good speedometer on it to really give you the real sense for your speed, but you don't need it. When you're driving it, the world's basically a blur. But the great thing is, you never lose control. It sticks to the ground effectively, it stops on a dime, it's responsive to turns. Um, basically, even when you hit a rock, which you are going to do, because now in 3.1 there are improved surface textures and increased amounts of rocks that are laying around, it still handles those situations well. It basically, you hit a rock, you kind of bounce, you reorient, it's durable, and you basically stay put with your wheels on the ground. Size-wise, it's small, smaller than I expected it to be, which means that more vehicles should be able to carry this around than something like the Ursa. That being said, don't necessarily expect to be able to stick this in your Avenger and still be able to carry cargo. Now, I'll eventually get around to testing what this actually fits in, um, and I'm going to end up sharing that all with you in a different video. Um, but you do get a smaller chassis for your consideration. Now, as far as the design is concerned, overall look of this thing is great. It's kind of menacing. It's almost, uh, you know, aggressive with these big wheels. The stance is kind of like slanted. It looks really cool. Um, the cockpit area has really clear lines of sight. And you get a really good sense of speed when you're in that first person perspective. Um, though I don't necessarily like how limited the view of the horizon is and kind of below so to get a better view of what's coming up on that horizon i would certainly encourage third person driving and basically reviewing what's coming through or coming up through moving your view around with your mouse so you get a better idea of your surroundings now thanks to how well it adjusts to your inputs you can basically avoid the big blockers that may come up in your path and kind of zoom in between the little paths that you do have available now the cargo space in the back of the base cyclone is pretty spacious and you get an idea of why it's effective and how even one SEU of cargo still gives you plenty of room to work with, even though it may not be the four SEU that you get in something like the Ursa. Um, especially if you talk about things that you may actually find on planetary surfaces, it's not going to be a ton of stuff. At the end of the day, the Cyclone is basically everything I've personally wanted in a ground vehicle, and I think you guys will probably feel that too, because it combines things like speed and agility of the space bikes with the utility of something like the rovers, and basically finds what I would consider to be a perfect middle ground. Now, as content opens up, I'm going to make sure that I'm reviewing the ability to carry cargo and just general transport, but for now, it's in a really good place in my mind. So that's it, short and sweet. Um, I'm going to test it continuously and give you guys more feedback, but wanted to give you some good first impressions. Um, I want you guys to let me know if you have any questions in the comments, but otherwise, you know, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more content coming with 3.1. So um, get your questions in. Otherwise, have yourselves a good night and take care.